When I develop my game, I also look at other 2D games and get some inspiration. I played a game named CrossCode. Here I saw a very interesting mechanic, the jump mechanic. I love how you can jump from cliff to cliff, building to building, edge to edge. I would like to have such a mechanic in my game. Hello there. Oats here, developer of my game Elven Kingdom. In today's devlog I will talk about the jump feature in my game. The jump can be used to find some hidden treasures. Also I think that this mechanic will make the world more interesting. Since exploring will be a big part of the game, adding a bigger toolkit for the player to play with is awesome. So one of the first question was if I want to have an extra jump button. This means that the player only jumps when I hit a certain button. Then I need to time my jumps. Also the player needs to know the jump button. Currently I have some buttons in the game. I have four buttons for movement, one dodge button, one combat change button to draw the sword, one button for attacking, one button for interacting. I do not know where to put the jump button, so I would do an automatic jump when reaching an edge, just like in CrossCode. Furthermore, the game isn't a platformer, so learning the timing of a jump shouldn't be a big concern of the player. Now I need to implement this behavior. My idea for the jumping system comes from height maps. These are used in 3D to display terrain. In a separate file, each tile gets a value from white to black, 0 to 255. This value represents the height of the tile. I will use this. I added a tile map to my game, which only contains the heights of each tile. Now I can say on which height a tile is. Furthermore, the height tile map uses smaller tiles than my normal tile map. With this, I can make finer edges. You can jump on objects from one side, but not from the other side. Now the player needs to detect the height map. I can use a function of the kinematic body 2D, a node in Godot. I use the move and collide function. When a kinematic body 2D collides with something, this method returns the collision object. Now I check the tile the player is currently on. I also look at the tile into the direction the player wants. If the tile is one height bigger or the height is smaller, I allow the player to jump. I deactivate all collisions and add a timer to the jump. When the timer is finished, the jump ends. This is the result of the jump. I added a dust particle and a landing sound. Looks solid for me. I also need to draw a custom animation for jumping, but this can wait. I need to handle the player when you are jumping to a location where you can't land. Just like this when you jump into the trees. I teleport the player back to the start of the jump. I will now add more locations into the map where you can jump from object to object. In the next video I want to show some of the funny bugs some of you people found in the demo. Thanks for watching.